Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this screencast, I want to introduce you to one of our new products that we just launched in our eLearning template library. And I'd also like to show you how to use this in Adobe Captivate 6. Um, our new product is our computers and devices. And this is found under our graphics section and then computer and devices. Now out here you'll notice there's a whole bunch of computers, uh, laptops, desktops, there's also iPhones and Kindles and iPads, all sorts of different devices. Some of them have screens that are already in them and then some of them have screens that have been removed. And you can simply just check that by just hovering over and you'll see that, that there's a checker pattern behind them, meaning that they are, um, there's no screens there. I'd like to show you how to use one of these that have no screens and how you would use that in your training. So what I'll do is go and click on one of these and I'll go and click and download a size that I want. Now I'm going to go over to Adobe Captivate 6. I already have a project opened up and a slide that's all ready to bring in a graphic. So the first thing I want to do is in this particular training I want to be able to show um, kind of just a, a fun way of showing a screenshot. Um, sometimes we just want to go insert image and sometimes we just want to put that screenshot just right in on the screen which is fine in some cases. There's nothing wrong with just putting a screen in here but if you want to jazz it up a little and make it look a little bit nicer one way that we can do that is by using these computer devices. So I'm going to go ahead and just have my screenshot there and now I'm going to go and go insert and I'm going to insert the image that I just downloaded from our library which is our computer graphic here and it's a little bit bigger than I want so I'm going to go into the transform here and just I have my constrained proportions set there so I can just decrease either the width or the height until I get it down to where I like. I can also hit the little hand on the side and hold shift down and I can resize that and keep the proportions how I need it. Now you notice that the screen since it's removed you can see that screenshot below um, or behind it rather. So once I get the computer kind of resized how I want now I can actually grab my screen and start to resize it so that it fits perfectly behind and it looks like it's actually part of the monitor. So once again this is just a fancy way to uh, kind of spice up your screenshots. Um, you can now see that the computer looks like it's actually displaying that screenshot. So that's just one way that you can use these computer and devices. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Thanks.